well with one woman and two acres and I can't stand it anymore. It's March and I'm putting something in the ground. I'm going pretty loosely by this uh, map of, you know, the garden. Very loosely, okay? But we'll see how it works. Oh, first I'm gonna lay out some markers. Oh. And one more time over that way. Good. Now, took somebody's advice and sharpened my knife. <laughs> okay, now I can come in through here. Now I've got this walkway, and so I want another one over here. Now, you have to remember that my garden is cockeyed. As you can see from um, the fencing and stuff, I've left myself some walkway over here. My fence has taken a beating this winter, as have we all. Oh well, okay. So I left myself some walkway, and I left myself some walkway. It's wider at this end and goes this way. <laughs> All right, now I want to leave myself a little walkway, <laughs> very little, but I want it closer to the fence over here. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have scrap wood. And then I walk it all the way down here. You have to remember that there's a pine bough on my fence. There's plenty of walkway here. <laughs> now I want to go over and over and over and leave myself a walkway and right here. back over here. Wow. I actually found grass in here. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Facebook crowd and I have decided on a name for the bird. His name is Duncan. It means brown warrior. <laughs> we have high hopes. You're just gonna sit there in the sun like that, aren't you? I don't blame you, son. The funny part is when he closes his eyes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right like that. He just closes his eyes. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> he was in a, uh, a chicken barn, you know, with a whole bunch of other chickens. And he never really wandered around in the grass or sat out in the sun. I think he's gonna like this life. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> what a funny bird. <laughs> and then you, up here. Here, 
I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah. Ground's nowhere near as soft over here. Funny, but it is there. Go figure. Okay, and I'm just stick this over here. Oops. Doing okay. Oh. Now that is one comfortable chicken. Now this bed, because it's wider here than it is over there, I'm going to put potatoes over here. Flying out of here. Good. And I'll put this one one up here. And this big one. Whoa. Over here. Wah. Black. And the one on top of it. And that way, yuck, um, you, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not. Ugh. But the, um, as this grows, that's the south facing over that way. And as the stuff over here grows, it still gets plenty of sun. So that's good. All right, I put a little soil and compost in here, and I have potatoes that are growing through. <laughs> I didn't expect that. They came up fast. So, I'm going to put this in nice and deep. And try not to destroy what stuff I got going through. Now, as I see them coming up, I'll just put more soil and straw on it. But that's what is next, is straw. And yes, I'm just picking it up out of this walkway because it's not going to do me any good over there. The wonderful part is it's going to rain for the next three or four days and never freeze. Yay! Cool. Let's put something else in. <laughs> I've already put in some seed and stuff, but I've got to. I don't know if you remember, but this was bright red, hard pack clay. And when you look at the difference in the soil, every year it's going to get better. Wow. Chickens didn't hurt either. They scratched it up pretty good. Last one. Well, I put in a lot of cool weather crops. This soil was so easy to turn. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I get very excited a lot, don't I? <laughs> but I am. Um, but I still have to wait for my warm weather stuff. So I'm going to plant some more broccoli in the greenhouse, though. 
Okay, well, well, I planted the broccoli over here, you know, where I had planted it in January and it never did anything. I'm going to give the whole thing a nice drink. Oh, boy. Cool thing about these lights is they're indoor-outdoor, so you can throw water on them and they're fine. <laughs> I'd love that. Oh, now for the icky part. It's not that it's just putting things away. Ooh, no. If only it would be that easy. It's about categorizing, making sure that you know when you planted stuff and where you planted it. I don't know. So, I'm going to get everything up. Try to get everything up. And my coat from this morning. <laughs> and put it on paper. Oh, that's what I've done today. <laughs> so, let's go. She just has to help. Uh, anyway, now some of you may know, some don't, that I am a computer junkie. <laughs> I love computers. I try to learn new programs and, and I learn them fast and it's fun. So why do I have a notebook with stuff in front of me? The reason that I don't put gardening information on the computer and do the because the computer is for other stuff. Gardening is very tangible. You, you you get in the soil, you pick the stuff, and you clean it off, and you get the bugs, and you it's it's a very tangible thing. So I'm trying to keep it tangible and keep it like I don't know. It, that's my reasoning behind it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> now can I get to work? Oh. Get off. Okay, well what I do is I have this journal. <laughs> uh, yeah, this looks all wonderful, but you ought to see everything around me. It looks like a bomb went off. Um, this is my layout that I did during the winter, in those cold, long days, and this is kind of how I laid it out. Well, it turns out that I got more garden space in and better walkways and stuff the way I did it out there, so I got to change this around. But it was a good way to you know, remind myself about certain things, and that was kind of nice. Um, and I keep everything in a, a journal. Um, this is, a, it's just a notebook, um, but I keep like a, whenever I go out in the garden, I write something in here about it, um, which hasn't been much lately, but it will be. Um, but this is just, it's talking about the weather and about garden stuff, just, you know, and write notes about stuff you have to do in the morning and stuff like that. And then here's the graphs that most people can use for gardening, you know, as far as their garden, but I can't because everything is cockeyed. So, <laughs> leave it to me. But it's in there. Um, this is where I put, for my seed starting in the greenhouse, this is where I put that. So I'm going to write up about the broccoli in here. 
Um, here's my daily journal. Uh, on the here, date of last frost. I always say May 1st. It's just a thing you do around here. And that's what I kind of did. Blech. I was fooling around. But you put um, today's date, you know, today's date. You've got different times of that you plant stuff. So, you know, you have several pages of it. Um, today's date and what you planted and, you know, any comments you want to make about it, whatever. Um, that's kind of cool. And here's a monthly kind of planner that's, you know, says, you know, what's going on and when and whatnot. This, I have uh, information in, on this about pests and diseases. This is the harvest time. Um, what you harvested and how much you got, you know, that's fun. And putting it up, the preserve, ha the method you use, number of jars, date done, that for putting up your veggies and fruits and stuff. And at the end of the year, I think, or maybe the end of whatever you planted and it's done, write down what grew well and what didn't. And what I say here is what grew really good and what was better used for compost. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and then here's something that you, fruit and veg try out next year. So you can make notes about things you want to try next year. And here you go for the winter. And looking back over your season and just jotting down some ideas and stuff about it. I also added a section about chickens and the incubator growing up, number of chicks in which pen, blah, blah, blah. And information about chickens. So I guess you can put anything you want in there. So, I'm going to fill out this information <sighs> and see what all has to be done and all that stuff. If you're interested in getting this journal, just let me know and I'll email it to you. Um, you can email me at my one woman and two acres at gmail.com. Let me know that you want it and yeah, I'll just email it out to you. So, and you can change it any way you want. You can do whatever you want with it. If you, if you saved it and you hate it, whatever changes you made, email me again and I'll resend it out to you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my journal. So let me figure out what I've done today and put it in here. Okay, so today I wrote... <laughs> That the high today is like 66, which I think it may have been 68. I can't imagine. It didn't feel like it, but it's been cloudy. It's supposed to rain this evening, although it's supposed to be only 51. Yay! Um, and I made the comment that it looks like the deep freezing is over, that it's past us. I hope so. And I put greenhouse broccoli. That's it. Then, <laughs> putting cool weather plant seeds in the garden. I was amazed how much better the soil looked. The color is darker and texture is much lighter. It's supposed to rain today, Monday, through this Friday. All I had to water was the broccoli. <laughs> the other seeds I planted never came up. That was from January. I forgot to water the greenhouse. Leave it to me. It was cold. Plus, with all the ice and snow, I doubt it ever had a chance. Of course, the chickens didn't help. They broke in. I put up more fans. They haven't been in it. That's pretty good. And today, I planted two kinds of onion, two kinds of beets, asparagus, lettuce, carrots, kale, eggplant, radish, peas, celery, and cauliflower. Let's see if any of that comes up. <laughs> it's, we're supposed to get a nice rain, not flooding rain. Nice rain um, for about a week. So that will actually help everything. And the soil temp is good. It's cool, but these are cool weather things. They, they want it cool. 
So I can't wait. Won't it be wonderful to have fresh vegetables in the house again? <laughs> so now I'm going to put my mess away and clean up where I've mushed everything out of view. Yes, this is the neat part. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's late. I'm going to get something to eat. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> this has been Mel with One Woman and Two Acres. Y'all have a blessed day. <laughs> you tell them, buddy boy.